Google is a developer's best friend. The only way to become a 10x developer is to learn the fine art of Googling. No one can remember every syntax, method, or property of any programming language, much less multiple languages and libraries. When you come across an error, what's the best way to search for it? In this video, we're gonna go over 18 tips and tricks to find the information or solution that you're looking for quickly. But by far, the best way to search for a specific error is to be specific. Look for the exact match by using quotation marks. If we search for the error, cannot read properties of undefined reading path. We'll find some valid results, but some are not going to match exactly. For instance, this one says reading map. So let's surround this error with quotation marks now. And now every result is going to be this exact match. Now maybe you're not sure of the exact phrase to search for. You can use the asterisk as a placeholder. So let's search for never gonna asterisk. That's what I was searching for, never gonna give you up. If you're not sure exactly how many words are in the phrase, you can use around in all caps. So let's search for how and then around. And I think there's two words in between how and vim that I'm looking for. That's it, how to exit vim. You'll also notice that links that you've already clicked are gonna be highlighted in purple. So if you find yourself searching for the same things over and over again, hopefully you'll start remembering the answers or maybe it's a good reference for you to bookmark or favorite. If we want to search for something in a specific site, we can do that as well. So let's search for JavaScript, but we only want the results to come from youtube.com. So we'll say site colon youtube.com. And now all of these results are only from YouTube. If you want to specifically include or exclude terms, we can use the plus and minus characters. Let's search for JavaScript plus code stacker. So this will find all of my JavaScript content. Well, let's say we want to exclude something. Let's search for JavaScript minus Angular. You won't find Angular in any of these results. Now, if you're searching for multiple things, we can include or. So let's search for JavaScript or TypeScript. Most of these are gonna be comparisons. So JavaScript versus TypeScript. If you want to look for each search term individually, use the pipe character. So we'll say JavaScript pipe TypeScript. Now all of these results will either have JavaScript included or TypeScript. And we can even group things using parentheses. Let's search for React with either JavaScript or TypeScript as well. Now all of these results are about React, but some of them include JavaScript and some include TypeScript. Next, let's search for Vue. Let's say that we only want to search for results that have view in the URL. So at the beginning, we can type in URL colon view. Now all of these URLs have view in them. Let's say that we want to search for view three specifically. Well, in URL is only going to search for the term right after the colon. If we want all of the search terms to be included, then we need to use all in URL. Now all of these have view three in the URL. Next, let's search for React. And we could do something similar by using in title. So let's add in title colon, and now all of these have React in the title. Let's say that we want to specifically look for a React 18. Again, we'll need to use all in title, and now all of the search terms will be in the title. And again, we could do something similar with the body text of the website. So let's say in text NFT. Now all of these results have NFT in the body text. Let's say instead of NFT, we want to search for non-fungible token. Well, if we just did in text non-fungible token, it's just going to look for non and then fungible and token could be anywhere else. So let's do all in text and now non-fungible token will be in the text body. Now these become even more powerful when you combine multiple search operators together. So maybe you're searching a specific site for a page with specific text. Give that a try. Next, let's say that we're searching for a CSS cheat sheet but we want this to be in a specific file format. Let's add file type colon, and let's search for PDF. Now all of these results are gonna be CSS cheat sheet PDFs. And it's not just limited to PDFs, there are many different file types that you can search for. Let's say that you want to find a related or alternate site. So instead of Petco, I wanna find something similar to Petco. Let's do related colon petco.com. And we see all of the related sites. We can also show pages that point to a URL. So let's use link colon codestacker.com. So now we see all of the sites that link to my site, but we can see that it's also including my site because I have pages that link to my own site. So let's combine that with minus site colon codestacker.com. So this is gonna remove my site from the results. And now all of these are sites other than my own site that link to my site. 
And you also want to make sure that the info that you're getting is up to date. So let's search for JavaScript fetch. We're going to include after colon 2021. So now we're only going to see results after the specified date. We can also specify a range of numbers to search for by adding dots between the numbers. So let's search for cameras that are between 500 and thousand dollars. So now all of the articles that are coming up are between 500 and thousand dollars. Notice this one. Let's change our search to cameras between 500 and eight hundred dollars. So now we can see our search results are a bit different and we don't have any that go up to thousand dollars. Now, maybe a site is down or there's a page that you can't access anymore. We well, can check to see if there is a cached version available. So let's search for cache colon Amazon.com. I mean, Amazon never goes down, but you never know. So now this is a cached version of Amazon.com or a backup. We can also use a tilde character in front of a word to search for the word and synonyms of that word. So instead of just doing inexpensive laptop, we can add a tilde right before it with no space. So now we can see these results include inexpensive, budget, cheap, best under, anything that is similar. If you don't know the definition of a word, we can easily find that. So let's define life. Apparently Google knows the definition of life. And then I'm an okay speller, but for some reason I just can't spell the word definitely. So let's put that in there. By doing this, we can use Google as a spell checker. If you need to find something nearby, just use that keyword. So let's find some coffee nearby. Here's an extra tip. Did you know that there is an advanced search in Google? Let's go to settings and then advanced search. There are tons of parameters here you can use to find exactly what you're looking for. I hope you found something helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.